For example, Mr. No, just wait for Kose. Mr. Speaker, the registrar, the registrar of political society, the political party, Mr. Speaker, has this document. Hello, the Honorable Jeanette. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, point of order, Mr. Speaker. I wanted to know, Mr. Speaker, is it in order? So, Mr. Speaker, for... Mr. Speaker, standing order number one, Mr. Speaker, which, which state claims, Mr. Speaker, that... On the, Junaid Mohammed, Mr. Speaker, correct. Mr. Speaker, should, should Junaid Mohammed, Mr. Speaker, lie to the House? that he is the director of elections in ODM and again a secretary general of ASMI or Laumoja support Mr. Speaker. One must pay allegiance to one political party. Can you tell us Mr. Speaker which position he holds in both ASMI and ODM? And a promoter of BBI Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I, I know Mr. Speaker, Mr. your time is up. I Mr. give you no, 30 seconds to... Mr. Speaker, to conclude to my conclude. submission, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this parliament has a date with destiny, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. The way we rule yeah. on this matter, Mr. Speaker, will determine the way our politics will be conducted going forward. So, Mr. Speaker, I urge you, with humility, be, have fidelity to the Constitution and the law. Thank you very much. The Honorable Duale. Mr. Speaker, today is a day that I will remember. Early this year, we had the Political Parties Amendment Bill. Very chaotic. And Mr. Speaker, the CS until I am approved by this August House. Mr. Speaker, I remember, and I'll, the answer will prove me right. I told my colleagues then that don't make laws that will haunt you. And there are people who are running away from that chaos. As they say, Murive, don't run. <laughs> Murive, don't run. Junet and his colleagues, don't run. Yeah. This matter must be decided this afternoon. And Mr. Speaker, your predecessors have decided more complex issues. I was with you in the 10th parliament, during the Grand Coalition government, where the, where the leader of government business used to be the chair of the House Business Committee. And when the Vice President, then Honorable Kanonzo Musioka, and the Right Honorable Raila Odinga argued who will chair, Speaker Marende took over. So, Mr. Speaker, in the legislature, you are the arbiter. You should not be referred to anything. Listen to us, and based on law and facts and evidence. Mr. Speaker, what my colleagues, our opponents, are going through is what the medical doctors call placebo. Placebo is, is called is something, a, a, a lie, a healing. You claim that you have healed psychologically, but you, you have not healed. So in 2000, uh, in, in, in March of this year, early this year, early this year, the speaker, you know we are not in Sili, where we, me and him, talk to each other like that. We are in the guest house, the speaker, yeah. When we're in his sleep, we can talk to you right the way we want. Yeah, this is a guest house. Yes. Mr. Speaker, so Mr. Speaker, they thought this was the healing. The healing time is over. But Mr. Speaker, I want you to, to rule on six things I want to tell you. And Mr. Speaker, and I want to start with Article 2 of the Constitution, sub Article 4 says, any law, including customary law, that is inconsistent with this constitution is void to the extent of the inconsistency and any act or commission in contravention of this constitution is invalid. Even an act of parliament passed by this house, if it is not consistent with this constitution, it is null and void. Mr. Speaker, Article 36 of the constitution and Article 36 of the Constitution, Mr. Speaker, is on the Bill of Rights. It's about human rights. It says the yes. freedom of association. Mr. Speaker, you have to give me my time then, you know, why am I disrupted? Yeah, the 
Give him the mic. Yeah, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Yes, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Um, is it in order that the former majority leader uh, misleads this House by giving the impression that the question of constitutionality or anality is a question that can be determined otherwise than by a court of law? We can have our own interpretations. We can have our own thinking of what is constitutional or not, but this is a question that can only be determined by a court of law. Is it in order? Mr. Speaker, in this August House, you are the arbiter. You are the ones who decide. Those who go to the, to the, to the judicial system, to the courts, you can go, as Honorable uh, Wandai said. So, Mr. Speaker, Article 36 is in the Bill of Rights. For even to amend it, you must go to a referendum. It's about freedom of association. And it says that you can join, you can participate in any activity of any association of your kind. 32, 36, 2 says that nobody can compel you to join. Mr. Speaker, PA, MDG, and I want to thank the leader of MDG is in this house. He is a leader to be watched in Luo Nyanza. He's a serious guy. He came to this house with a small party in Siaya from Siaya County. He must enjoy his rights, Mr. Speaker. The, the framers of the Constitution protected MDG. The framers of the Constitution, both in letter and spirit, protected PA as a party and its membership, rank and file. Article 38, Mr. Speaker, and you must rule on it. Again, in the Bill of Rights, it's about human rights. It says on political rights that provides political rights of every person, including members of PA, members of MDG, members of small parties, Mandela Chap Chap, they have got political rights and the Constitution under Article 38 defense. Mr. Speaker, a legal document signed, and I'm sure when you talk to speaker, uh, 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 speak, the Speaker of the Senate, your colleague, you, you talk to the Foreign Secretary nominee, they will tell you they signed the last page under coercion, under intimidation. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, do you follow that document? Mr. Speaker, let me finish. Let me finish here this time. Mr. Speaker, let me finish. And you have to give me time, Mr. Yes, uh, the Honorable Chaga. I'll prove, I'll bring Kinoti here. Kinoti is still alive. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We know, Mr. Speaker, I respect Honorable Bodwale as a ranking member. And any evidence that he gives to this house must be factual. So for him to come and lie to this house that people signed that are called Ashon, it is really very unfortunate, Mr. Speaker. And I would like, Mr. Speaker, that we strict ourselves to the facts. We have people who are here, Mr. Speaker. They will speak. Who signed, they can speak on, the, on yes. their behalf and on themselves. And so I would really urge Honorable Member, Honorable Dwight, to just speak the facts. Mr. Speaker, you need to add me time. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, in this house, Mr. Speaker, my good sister, Sabina Chege, at that time was the custodian of the instrument. Honorable Ocheng will speak. Honorable Kamket will speak. Yes. Members of PA will speak. Yes. Members of uh, uh, Mandela Chab Chab will speak. And they will say under what condition, under what environment they signed. The and the people of Kenya must hear, must hear to David Ocheng. Yes. And Mr. Speaker, because, because a commission of inquiry into certain things might be formed. So relax. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, so Mr. Speaker, listen to us under Article 36, sub Article 1, Article 36, sub Article 2, sub Article 38 on political rights. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the other thing you need to, I'm inviting you to is whether Azimio coalition is a political party or a coalition party. And Mr. Speaker, I want to give as a ranking member. These are members who will, who, will, who will approve me. And please, now I'm the member for township. In fact, the serious issue Azimio should think about 
is that they will not access the political party's fund. And I'll tell you why. The 6.9 million votes, Honorable Raila Odinga, a man who inducted me into politics, got it. He was the only candidate of that party in the general election. There was no MCS in Azimio. There were no MPs. There were no governors. Read the Political Parties Act. It says, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, de defend me from, 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 from... No, I'm pursuing an argument. An argument. You will have your time. No, 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 Mr. Speaker, you can't shout. You can't shout when I'm on my feet. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Order. Honorable Chonga, I believe you're a first timer. Second term. Ah, okay. Then you should know even better that the order, Honorable Chonga. Honorable Chonga, there are your colleagues here who are here for the first time, and they are looking to you to learn on how to conduct yourself. Is out of order to stand up and shout at your colleague across the aisle. You seek the speaker's permission, then you pursue a counter argument. But you do not stand up and behave in a rally situation, which I said we shouldn't have. Mr. Speaker, because I have been very much interrupted, we'll give you about three more minutes. Mr. Speaker, I